people in the room today take vitamin D or told they have a low vitamin D level? It's a pretty large number. If I asked that question two years ago, you would, nobody would have raised their hand. Why? Because testing for vitamin D has gone down exponentially in cost. So we'll go to the next slide. And the question is, what is a normal vitamin D level? Right? If you look now, among the African Americans in the United States, over 98% of them are categorized as low vitamin D. If you look at uh, Caucasian, 75% are categorized as low vitamin D. The problem is we're measuring a node, not a network. So there's vitamin D, there's a vitamin D receptor, there are the signal molecules in the cell. And when you measure one node, it in general is meaningless. If you look historically in the United States, every time we've picked out something to add to the diet that we've been low in, we've been wrong 100% of the time. Yet this room, who is reasonably smart individuals, are all taking vitamin D. And so there's obviously something wrong there. If you look at hip fracture incidence in the United States, it's declining. Yet all of a sudden, we're all jumping on board to vitamin D. We'll go to the next slide. Um, there. So there was a study done that was published this year in the Journal of the American Medical Association that showed if you took uh, 2,000 women who were over age 70 and you gave them yearly vitamin D, a level that would maintain them at the normal range for a year, what would happen? And what do you know, they increased their rate of hip fractures. We'll go to the next slide. And so the Women's Health Initiative looked at 36,000 women, and they were randomized to calcium uh, uh, and uh, uh, with vitamin D versus placebo. And what they showed is hip density went up a little bit in the study, but again, there was no change in hip fracture and there were more kidney stones. So again, it goes to the factor that what is normal vitamin D? Rickets in this country, it doesn't happen in anybody except for nursing infants um, in underserved areas. It doesn't happen in people over a year of age. Yet we're all taking vitamin D. Cancers have vitamin D receptors on them. When you take high doses of vitamin D, which is what's in all these supplements, you downregulate the receptors. You get abnormal network signaling when you perturb a node in one different way. So again, I want you to ask the question, not based on a chart, am I normal or abnormal, but for the first is, what is the manifestation? Why? Thank you.